Uh, my name's Leon McKenzie. I'm the handsome guy on the on the right there in the in the blue shirt. Just in case you're wondering, uh, Chad Corbett's the other fella. Um, we together have have uh, many many years in in probate, and we've been uh, Chad and I've been working together for uh, many years, maybe even uh, ten plus years, um, doing different things. What we have done is taken our combined knowledge and put together a partnership that we know is going to benefit each and every one of you. This is, this is really something special. When you, uh, we'll talk a little bit about why probate leads and what they can bring to you in a, in a, in a couple minutes. But at the end of the day, probate leads are, are the best source in the country for finding motivated sellers. And whether you're a realtor or an investor, this is a, uh, this is a lead source that you wish, will want to have in your inventory. There's just no question about that. The question then becomes, how do you use that information? Where do you get the data? And U.S. Probate Leads has been providing information now for the past 20 years. And we've worked with any number of folks to bring them a solution that they can get out. We started out as a regional provider, ended up working uh, across the country. And I'll talk about that in a little bit more. Chad has brought the, the missing component to our solution. And he'll, he'll explain what that is. But at, and, and, and just a real quick summary, uh, if you're going to be working in this space, you need to have accountability to yourself and probably from others helping you get take your solution and being able to present it and ensure you have, have the right knowledge available and stuff like that. Chad has put together a program that is just second to none. This is really something special. And together between U.S. Probate Leads and Probate Mastery, I think you're going to be you're going to find exactly what you want in the in the probate space, and this is this is a solution that's going to help you become the go-to probate specialist in your area. And we would really encourage you to to take a look at it. We are we have a lot of experience and we have a lot of answers. And if you as we go through this presentation, feel free to uh, put your questions into chat. We'll have a question and answer session at the back of it, and we'd be happy to to address any any concerns you have. Uh, the Websites that we'll be presenting to you are, are full featured websites, very easy to use. And you can, you'll see once you get in there that you can get any of the information that you need. And there's always somebody to help you. Um, Chad, you want to add to that a little bit? Yeah, I'll just give you, give everybody some background. If you're not familiar with me, um, I started, I came out of resort real estate. So I built, I was in develop sales and development of ski front, beachfront, whole ownership. So I did about a hundred million in sales before I ever sold my first house. And uh, I, at 29, I kind of hit the reset button and landed in a city where I knew nobody. And then I had four real estate licenses, but not one in that state. So I started as an investor. And what I noticed is the majority of people who would respond to like a We Buy Houses message uh, on different types of campaigns, vacant, uh, code violation, absentee, a lot of them actually were probates or they had been recently inherited. So I, I just fumbled through that as an investor, ended up getting my Virginia real estate license. Um, and I would first go in as an investor. And if I couldn't buy the house at 70 cents, you know, minus repairs, plus whatever I wanted to make as a wholesale, if I wasn't keeping it, I would try. Eventually, I, learned, I tried to switch to my realtor hat and you almost always broke rapport until I finally realized you just be Chad. Like you focus on the family's needs, like what challenges could they have? What solutions do you have to solve those challenges? And then everything changed for me. So I did 52 deals in my first year, 74 in my second year, 104 in the third year. And then I started teaching other people. Um, I have, so we started with, with probate mastery was my very first course that I started in 2014. But since then, I've, I've learned a heck of a lot more um, in starting a probate lead company myself. Um, we, you know, what I found is if you give most people leads, then that's it. They'll fail. Um, so we built courses and that drastically improved the failure rate. But then something else was missing. So then we built communities. And ultimately, what I've learned is it's a combination of the courses, like the education, a steady supply of, of accurate leads, 
um, ongoing training, not just one digital course and then move on forever, but ongoing training. And then peer support is the biggest thing. So like having, you know, I'm very privileged to have dozens of students who are what deep into six figures and quite a few that are into seven figures consistently for four and five years running. Those people are now the mentors in my communities. So rather than me standing here telling you one way to do it, we now have built a collective knowledge of, of people around the country who are doing this in different types of markets and different ways. So that's kind of why I'm here. Uh, for me, I really wanted to be able to, to lower the cost, to give more people access to what I would normally have to charge five, six times more for if we were just retailing. But through my relationships, including the one with Leon, I'm able to package all this together where it, you know, it benefits all of us and provide for the first time like a, a central place for all of those things. So the courses that we've put thousands of those courses and certifications we've issued to thousands, um, the leads coming through as part of that, uh, you know, a, a taste of leads and then obviously the additional ones as you scale. But the the biggest thing is we just we, we're we're stepping up to make sure that you always have somebody to talk to when you have a question. So there's weekly brokerage calls, weekly investment calls, um, monthly live classes like last night we had uh, uh, the top real essentially the Tom Ferry of Australia. Um, we had the, the top real estate trainer in all of Australia who's also you know, work with some of our students. So we're just kind of pulling out all the stops and trying to aggregate all the value that and relationships and knowledge I've been able to kind of collect over a decade into one place. Um, so I, I've, I've, you know, seen a lot of people succeed. I've seen a lot of people fail and I'm really, I'm at a point, you know, I was fortunate enough because I'm probate in my own business. I was able to reach financial independence at 38. I tried retirement, but that wasn't much fun. So this for me is just how do we reach more of the right people to keep growing this so we keep seeing a bigger and bigger community impact. And that's honestly the best. If you look at our site, you'll see tons of testimonials. We've never deleted one. That's just how they roll in. So I'm proud of the communities we built and the culture that we have. And I'm here to give. So you guys in the, in the chat, let me know what I can do for you today. Appreciate it, Chad. And the I think what you heard here is the fact that given a the right leads the right solution right people to talk to with Chad's help you're going to be able to develop a program that you're going to that, that's going to basically ensure your success there's just no question about it uh, you're getting the best probate leads coupled with the best probate sales support in the country so that's who we are that's what we're bringing to you I'm going to take a couple minutes of your time here to talk a little bit about the leads that we have and where they come from and, and how, we, how we got to the position we were, we're at, and then uh, hand it back over to Chad, and he's gonna uh, give you even more information about his program. So as those questions come up, be sure to get them out there, and, and he'll, uh, he'll be able to get back and he'll be able to answer those for you as well. Hey, Leon, I, I, don't um, have host, I don't have host privileges. Jim, I think it's Jim Dolan. Is yeah, we can here. we have him mute, please? I don't, let's just mute all participants and then unmute as we get to Q&A. That cleaned it up. Okay, Jim, you're on mute. Okay, sounds good. Okay, um, I thank you, appreciate it. So anyway, uh, USPL has been in business now, like I said, for about 20 years. And we started out in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And we, uh, we, were, we were the folks in the Dallas-Fort Worth area to be able to uh, really help people getting involved with probates. And we spent a lot of time doing that. But we, developed, we, we learned pretty early on that the leads were something that were difficult to get and someone, and, and there really wasn't at that point in time, anyone that knew exactly how to do it. So we grabbed that up and took that mantle on ourselves. And we started, started working the uh, entire uh, lead generation program. Today we're in, uh, we, we've pulled leads from every county in the country, or rather every state in the uh, country. We pulled uh, about 2000 leads from about 2000 counties. There's no one else that has done any, anywhere near the number of uh, lead pulls that we have. 
And if we do not have the leads at this point in time, then we can go out and get it. Uh, one question that we always get is, uh, well, these are public record. This is public record information. So most people should be able to go in and pull their own leads. It doesn't really work that way. You really want somebody that's very knowledgeable to go in and, and pull the data and get the data for you. And that's where our researcher staff uh, really comes into play. We have literally hundreds of folks that go into courthouses every day and we make the data available one time a month. So you'll get the, get the most current data uh, that's out there. Now we'll, we'll send that data. When, when you, we go in to get the data, there's a lot of, lot of uh, things at play. In some cases, the courthouses uh, redacted some of the data and just don't make some of it available. In other cases, it's just uh, they, they work with uh, limited hours to be able to get the data. And what we have found over the years is, or what we have developed is an approach and a uh, solution so that we can actually get the data that folks need. And when we, if we have any, any problem getting data in any area, we actually have solved those, uh, those problems. And we, today we use uh, third-party sources where necessary to, to uh, enhance our data. And it really is as good a data as you're gonna be able to find out there. Uh, we do, as I said, pull data for any county in the U.S. There's no one else that uh, does that, can offer something like that. Uh, we have added a city and zip level of capability as well. And this is the first time anybody's done anything like this. And it's really designed for one, one time play, our, our smaller players and, and um, maybe realtors and folks like that that are looking for data in their immediate neighborhood. Uh, so I'll, I'll explain a little bit about how that works in a bit. We have so much data. We actually have uh, literally millions of records uh, in our warehouse and we can make data available in, in bulk. And we do find that uh, data is, is useful to folks even up to three years uh, in, in arrears. It, it's, it really works that way. Each, each month we pull approximately 40,000 new leads uh, up and make those available. So if you're getting involved with uh, in the probate sales business as a realtor or an investor and you're looking for a way to start, be sure to take a look at uh, the leads that we offer and, and uh, let us know how we might be able to help you. Uh, one of the questions we get uh, frequently is how many leads should, should I start with? And we recommend that you start with all the leads for a county. That's what we've been selling for the past 20 years. And the folks that we work with have had a great deal of success with, with the leads in their county. A lot of, a number of folks will go to surrounding counties depending on the number of leads in each area. Uh, pretty much best practice tells us that you'd want a minimum of about hundred leads. So, uh, and from there, probate leads actually uh, in Tarrant County, or rather in uh, Dallas County, we pull about 250 leads. And in uh, Harris County, we pull about 600 leads. So it really is county dependent. And the counties that have more than 25 to 40 leads are, are really the ones that you want to pull at, at, the, at the, that county level. Uh, so we, there, we do have the option for purchasing according to your service side. Uh, using the city and zip code um, geographies. And uh, our, our commitment to you is to provide the highest quality residential property leads that, that we can possibly get to you. We do offer a, a range of high quality motivated uh, lead, seller leads in, turn, in, in, in the manner that we can get you a few leads if you're looking for just, a, just to work a small area, or we can get you a lot of leads. And that is something that no one else really has the ability to be able to do. And we do that through our, through our researcher network. So if you're an individual realtor or investor, then uh, the, we, could, we have solutions for you. If you're working with a major, uh, as a major broker, or you have a national branded sales teams, and you have large sales forces, multiple locations, multi-state uh, solutions, then uh, come to us and let us know. We'd, we'd be more than happy to design a program specifically for you so that those folks working under you would receive leads each month in, in whatever geographies they, they have an interest. At the county level, we, pulled, uh, we, we provide data for monthly subscriptions as well as historical uh, purposes. And this is, this is the program that we've been doing for the last 20 years and uh, we have extended it. Uh, quite a bit with, with our new um, city and zip type solutions, as well as a bulk solution. But if you were interested in 
data and having it come to you on a, a regular recurring basis. And we have a subscription program for you and be happy to provide that. If you wish to step back and, and pick up data for previous months, we have a program for, you, for that. Most people, when they join us, will uh, set, set up a, a, get the current data and then go ahead and set up a subscription. So each month they will have the data delivered to them. And uh, generally uh, folks find that by going back two or three months as well, of historical data that gives them a pretty good range of, of, of data for their uh, for the folks in their in their service area. So we do recommend uh, monthly subscriptions and historical purchases. We have a, a, a website set up that makes it very easy to go in and make your selections and we we have people available to help you uh, work with those and figure out how to make that happen. We're pretty proud of this. This has never been offered before at the national level where someone was able to go in and provide city and zip code level probate leads. So if you are a smaller player and you're really interested in your service area and you wanna, wanna just be able to get an ongoing uh, stream of leads coming to you each month, then this is the way to go. On the left side, you see at the, the you can select your counties and uh, one or more in, in the contiguous area, or, or if you wanted to get counties from different states, you, uh, we, we'd encourage you to look into that. Um, at the city level, you can choose any city, and we have uh, literally 2,500 uh, cities that we're currently pulling data for, and uh, zip codes, we have more than 11,000 zip codes in our, in our solution now. So wherever you need data, uh, just uh, check us out, because we do have that data available for you. If you do go this route, then uh, you're getting local neighborhood leads and you're, you're paying only for the leads you, you, you particularly need. Uh, sometimes if you were to go into a large uh, county area, you may find that that's just a, too large an area for you. I know Harris, uh, Harris County is huge and has about 600 probates each month and the, the geographical area is pretty large. So by uh, allowing you to go in and make selections within that county for the cities that are closer to you, that's, a, that's a, a legitimate solution. And it keeps you from paying for leads that you probably won't be using. So smaller geographies, lower monthly costs. Um, we do encourage you to take a look at the historical leads. Uh, a, a legitimate question here is when's the best time to talk to an executor? And, and uh, Chad will be able to explain that from his perspective and, and, and he'll give you uh, a, a nice insight about that. What we have found on our side is that the period when, when a person goes in and files a probate, he puts his, um, he goes to the courthouse and says, I want to be the executor for that estate. Then he is, he, an order is issued and he is now authorized to sell properties within that estate. But most of the folks that get involved as an executor in a state simply have not had any experience with anything like this. This is totally foreign to them. And that's, uh, Chad's gonna be talking to you about how to overcome objections, how to explain uh, problems, uh, how to explain systems to these people and stuff like that. And what that really means is it's going, there's a, a ramp up time for those folks. Um, on our side, we have seen leads the, the uh, sweet spot for, for getting with these folks is typically anywhere from two to six months. Uh, there's a lot of sometimes questions about, do I wanna reach that guy immediately? And do I wanna uh, get in front of him on, on day one? Uh, and, and think about it yourself. If, this, if you were tossed into a situation and all of a sudden uh, you had to handle all the intricacies of going out and managing a probate and you really didn't know what was happening, did you want to have somebody calling you and, and, and telling you that they can help you with uh, buy, help you sell properties and things like that? Uh, you might want to capture their name and know, know who they are for future purposes, but uh, whether you're going to be the first person, out, you're going to use, use the first person out of the gate, that, that doesn't typically happen. But I'm, gonna, um, I'm stepping on Chad's toes just a little bit because he has an entire solution set up to explain exactly how to do this and, and we'll uh, let, him, let him run with that. On our side, uh, the leads are available and we, you're, you're gonna find that you can get whatever leads you want. We also have a bulk lead uh, program and it's for larger players that are interested in uh, farming out data to some of, their, um, some, of, some of the participants in their program. And you could buy in, uh, thousands to tens of thousands of leads and, and we can get prices down in that, uh, in that scenario 
to as low as 45 cents per lead. And so it's obviously a, a, a function of how many leads you're getting. And what we're talking about here is historical leads. And um, in, in di different areas, you might want to go back um, uh, 12 months, maybe 24 months. Or, and and some, some of our folks have even gone back as far as 36 months. That, that's, that's a little bit out of the extreme. But what happens with this type of stuff is there really are untold residential property gems in just about every list that you purchase. And uh, getting out and working uh, a, a sizable number of leads uh, allows you to reach more and more people. And once again, I want to hand that over to um, Chad to explain how they go about doing that type of stuff. So our three programs that we're really pushing are, and we're really presenting to you as, as options are the, um, the county level leads, and then the city and zip code leads, and then finally the bulk property leads. And we do have historical data as well as subscription data. So uh, we'll give you the link to our website. And I think you're gonna find, there's a lot of energy has gone into this. We have some very talented uh, IT folks working this, and you're gonna find that these folks have really designed a solution that's very easy to use. And you can just get in there and, and pick anything you need. So we're pretty proud of the tool that we're, tools that we're providing you and, and wish you the best of success with those. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Chad and let him just continue and talk empathy with the customer and, and uh, talk about this fantastic sales and marketing approach that he's pulled together. Chad? Yeah. So <clears throat> I was watching questions in the chat. Um, one thing, I'll, I'll go back to the leads part of this. I, when I coach somebody, I try to get every single student or coaching client to go to the courthouse to meet with the probate clerk so they can actually experience what their, their prospects experience and then go to the records room and pull your own data. And I'll bet you only do it once because I only did. Um, it, you can, you can go pull this on your own. It is the opposite of dollar productive activity. Um, I've sat down and done the math. If you see yourself as a six figure professional, you're literally stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. And that's coming from someone who owned a lead company and now gives them, I pay for leads for my students to prove this point to them. Um, as far as, as what I do, I, I, we, Leon, I don't have a screen share, I don't think. But I have two different courses. Uh, my first course was called Probate Mastery. And that's where... I essentially teach for 15 hours everything that I learned and someone asked about scripts and I love, I always just meet this with a Zig Ziglar quote, uh, skinny, timid salespeople have skinny kids. And <laughs> I think scripts are garbage. I think they're crutches and I think they're the quickest way to screw up your reputation and probate. If you actually care about building long-term wealth, if you actually care about serving others and you care about having this business in three years, forget the scripts, build the skills. So like empathy is the start for me. I've everyone I've ever trained will know that that's the that's the word they hear the most. Like what problems do these people have and what solutions can you provide? Otherwise, it's going to be a hustle. You're going to bust your ass. You're going to blow through tens of thousands of dollars. You're going to fall flat on your face and someone else will come by that actually serves these families and they'll they'll make seven figures doing what you failed at. And I'm proud to have have hundreds and hundreds of people who who trusted me in this and went and proved it. And we've we've literally caused billions of dollars of community impact. And some of them are wholesalers. Like one of so I saw uh, someone just ask a question. We got a guy in Fort Worth, David Pinnell. He's been he's been with me for probably six years. He's doing between 1.2 and 1.3 million dollars a year, 90% wholesale, 10% brokerage. He is a licensed broker in Texas. So what we do, what David does, and what I teach everyone is provide options, and those options allow you to monetize every conversation. So instead of reaching out to a seller saying, I buy houses, I'm the best damn realtor ever, you reach out and you say, I've built a team of people specifically for helping families in your position. We were at the clerk's office the other day figuring out who we need to reach out to this month, and we got your name. What's been the toughest thing for you guys so far? I'm not a realtor. I'm not an investor. I'm not even talking about the property. It's my job to earn that conversation. And that's what makes our people and our approach so different is we focus on the human side of this. So in probate mastery, we'll spend the entire first session looking at the law and the logistics of probate. Then we roll into crafting your offer. What, what I just talked about, how, what do you say 
in your words about an offer that you put together specifically. So what can I do to help my community? Then it's something you created. So you don't need a script. You were part of the, the journey was your, you can tell the story. I met with the probate clerk. I, I met a hospice worker. I talked to a social worker. I saw a family get kicked out on their ass because one, the executor abused their position. Like these stories start to come through. So you don't need scripts. Like you're actually using compassion in place of a script. So we work on that in session two and session three. It's all about how you apply that. How do you, how do you, and I teach a lot of, like neuroscience and psychology and in, in very simple ways, like how you break through people's own, like, for example, objection handling is a thing that most people think is, oh my God, I got to work through these objections. And most of them can be dealt with, with little simple tactics. And if you haven't read the book by Chris Voss, Never Split the Difference, I was so happy when he wrote that book because I'm like, now I can teach what I've been doing. But it's a lot of it is tactical empathy. It's about understanding what's going on in their psychology, what's holding them back, and then serving them in a benevolent way, helping them get out of their own damn way, what we call probate quicksand. But session three is about six hours to break apart a 15-minute initial conversation. If you follow what I teach, you'll be able to monetize these deals as a wholesaler, as a, a burr or buy and hold as a broker so listing as is or conventional. We even train you to actually partner with the estate and flip the house for them. So we establish a basis value for the, the house and we roll it into a land trust or whatever your attorney wants to see it rolled into. And then we actually bring, like we will bring the construction, uh, we bring the crews and the capital, we flip the house, we get the listing commission. And then at the very bottom line, that net profit is split 50 50. I have students that have added a million dollars in value to a single house by tearing it down. So they'll partner, they'll establish, you know, a basis of 500,000 for a San Francisco house, get excavators in there, tear it down, get it permitted and sell it as a permitted shovel ready project for a million five. So they can literally make a million dollars just by partnering with the estate because the family didn't have the cash to tear it down or they didn't have the network or the expertise. Um, all that's taught in probate mastery. That's how you focus on the families, like how to, if you want to market to the families and, and start from there, um, that's what that course is all about. Last summer, I realized how many people fail just because they aren't consistent enough to get that first, the first closing. So they quit before they, before they even get there. And the cash conversion cycle is somewhere between a day and a year for these guys. Um, we had a gentleman last week that just started. He followed my suggestion and from the course and setting up a community Facebook group. And he, he took a $9,000 listing, which went under contract the same day. Um, that's, that's an extreme result. We have hundreds and well, we have thousands of those at this point. Some people will bang their head against the wall for six months until they actually embrace what they were taught and trust it. And then they'll hit steady. But, um, the consistent failure point is people who, who try to reinvent the wheel, people who don't listen to someone who's done this for a decade and they write scripts and then they, they call and marble mouth through their script every time. And they just say, end up saying the same thing everybody else is saying. That's the most common failure point. If you do this with a novel approach, if it's unique to you, and if your heart is in the right place, if you're not just chasing money, but you want to, you know, do good in your community and then earn money in return, like you'll do, you'll uh, pretty much everybody who has that mindset succeeds. But I, what I noticed is some of my most successful students would stop doing this because it was hard. Like they were well into six figures of income and they were tired of hammering the phones. They were tired of managing direct mail campaigns. They were tired of dealing with, you know, this or that. So we actually teach them to continue to market to the families, but to change the offer in order to attract attorney referrals. So the second course that I created was called Earn or Earn Attorney Referrals Now. And that's where, again, we teach, we start with empathy. So how many people know what it looks like to go to law school, endure that financially and mentally, then get out, then risk another half a million dollars in starting a firm and then not have a single client and have restrictions from your professional trade association on how you can market and who you can say what to. Like you think your job's hard as a realtor, go try to be an attorney. 
you'll take a half a million to a three quarter million dollars in risk and and like your your own association your own industry puts restrictions on how you can prospect so we spend an entire the entire session just really looking at why why attorneys struggle so much. Everyone thinks that, that we put them on pedestals because we've been conditioned to think that doctors, policemen, and attorneys are are special. They're struggling small business owners just like we are. So we teach you what that looks like from the inside, what the day to day of a, of an estate law firm looks like, and what that will show you is how you can be most valuable to them. And then we roll from there into how you can actually be valuable to them. How can you help them scale their law firm by reducing redundant, by taking the redundant tasks out, taking away the operational drag and bringing them the best damn referrals they've ever had. I'd say, looking at some of you guys, it looks like you've been in real estate for several years. Think about how many past clients you have, and then think about how many you actually helped to get an estate plan in place. Probate costs five to 7% of the gross value of Americans' estates. So if you're not helping your clients get a state plan set up after you sell them the, the asset that represents 80% of their net worth, then you just got something you can raise your standard of service and you can have estate planning attorneys all over town sending you real estate referrals, even if you never do probate. So that's what we teach is how to actually market to the families to get them interested in doing what's best for their family, but also like for probate. In the earn course, we partnered with a state exec, the leading software company in the country. So we actually offer our our prospects, we offer them free software. It's a two hundred dollars software to help executors manage the inventory, the heirs, the the financials, everything in the estate. And they're you know it's a Harvard educated developer who had built software companies, and then he lost both of his parents. So being a Google engineer and a, and a Microsoft engineer. And having two Harvard degrees, he still had a hell of a time navigating probate. So he started the, the company and his next his next software as a service company became a state exec. So we have, we in that course, in the earn course, you not only get access to a state exec to offer to your clients, you get the letters that we use. So we don't even talk about real estate. We reach out to the family. As soon as as soon as the probate's filed, we reach out to the family. We offer them free software to help manage the estate. And why would we do that? Because that's how we start the conversation. We earn the real estate conversation. We start with the people conversation. What do you as people need? And what can we as people do to help you? And that's what makes this so easy. Like if you, if it's just, you know, look at what everybody else is doing and then just do the opposite. Everybody else is taking a selfish approach. They're money focused instead of service focused. And it's so easy to kick their ass. You basically have no competition if you do this in a unique way. And it doesn't even have to be how I tell you to do it. But if you're going to work in this space, you damn well better have a unique offer. And otherwise, you're not going to be confident and you'll stumble on the phones. You'll have call reluctance. You'll self-sabotage by not getting your marketing out. And you'll eventually quit and go chase another squirrel. Um, those are the two courses that I've I've trained over 4,000 people and certified uh, people in every state, pretty much every major city in the country. Um, what I'm doing in 23 is taking everything I've learned and pulling it into a single community where all this is available in addition to a whole lot more. Um, I don't have screen sharing, but I can drop, we can, if you guys go to estateprofessionalsmastermind.com, you can see um, all of the 14, there's 14 distinct benefits. What we've done is we've packaged the courses into that. So you can get the courses for 50% off. So instead of 600 each, they're 300 each. And all the courses we release going forward, you'll get a 50% 50, 50 off. Um, we give you, I'll pay for your first 25 probate leads. So in order for me to, to introduce you to a community of peers, ongoing education, live classes every month, uh, two, one or two coaching calls every week. So we do, we, we have a call specifically for those of you that want to focus on improving the brokerage side of your business. And that's a live coaching call with my mentors are doing over a half a million a year and have more than 20 closed transactions in the last 12 months, or they wouldn't be there. So we're, you're only taking advice from people who have done this at a very high six figure to seven figure level. But those are the people who are leading my calls. So Bill Gross leads the weekly brokerage call on Tuesdays at three Eastern. David Pinnell, the guy that I was telling you in Fort Worth that's making deep into seven figures. 
he leads the investor call. And that's where last night we had one of the leading real estate professional uh, coaches in, in all of Australia who came to talk about empathy and actually, you know, looking at, at using unconventional ways to impress people by meeting their needs before you start trying to jam real estate services down their throat. But it's, it's ongoing. Uh, there, I got screen share now. Thank you, Leon. Um, I'll show you guys. So just on, on the back end, like this community is, it's hard to summarize and I, I want to leave time for Q&A. But you basically start with a, a professional lifestyle and career design course. This is a lot of, of me fault, like show being really transparent about the hard lessons I've learned and how I successfully built, you know, mid to high six figure company, seven figure companies and how I fell on my face all, all along the way getting there and how I have traveled the world done philanthropy work and taken, you know, as many as 200 days a year off while building seven figure companies. I've learned a lot of lessons and I find that when I coach people, we usually start there because most people are working 80 to 100 hours a week and they're not meeting their income goals. Well, I can't make more time for them. What I can do is change their perspective and make them purposeful in their work so they work less and actually end up earning more with as more freedom than they've ever had. So that's the entry point to the community. It's a course. It's free. It's, I think, four or five hours. Uh, we have private private communities where only members interact. As I said, you get 25 probate leads on me each month provided by Leon. And also, Leon generously provides a 25% discount to any member of this community. So as many leads as you want, you, uh, you can get at a, at a discount. Um, all of our courses, as I said, are 50% off. Every month we do a workshop. In February, we did a Mark, Mark Pearlberg, who is a high-end real estate, real estate CPA. We did a three hour workshop just on the five biggest mistakes real estate professionals make the, the hundreds of them that come through his practice. And I would pretty much guarantee anyone who, who watches this, unless you've done some high level tax planning with a very sophisticated tax attorney or, or CPA firm, you probably make 20, save 25 grand just watching that one workshop between now and April. Um, simple things most people overlook like, a lot of that went down to, you know, if you're in six figures of income and you have an LLC, but it's not designated, it doesn't have the S corp election. You're probably, you're probably leaving more than 25 grand a year on the table already. If you don't have an LLC, if you're operating as a sole proprietor, you're missing out on the, the business, the business deduction, like you're losing tens of thousands of dollars, even before we get into your financials. So there's things like that that we're doing every month. We do a workshop with a high level professional that can provide, you know, my goal with, with all of this is for 200 bucks a month, can I give you $100,000 a year in income increase or lifestyle increase? That's my whole goal in serving this in a different format. Um, the Epic Interview Series, we take people like funeral home directors, social workers, hospice workers, attorneys who are bulldog litigation attorneys. And we interview them in very candid interviews that are never public, but stuff that you would usually never be privy to. Like how many times have you ever got to sit down with a funeral home director to actually talk about the mental state of a surviving spouse the day, the day after a death, the week after a death, the month after a death. When you're sending letters, when you're, you're trying to push your way into these people's houses and, and do something with their real estate, you need to understand these things. So that's why we bring high level professionals in who have 30, 40 years in dealing with people in this position. So you don't have to take 40 years to learn the lessons they did. Um, we've talked about the group coaching calls, one for brokerage, one for investment. Um, the Magnus Open, Magnus, Magnum Opus Moments Library, that's essentially our TED Talks. So me and the other mentors will share with you, you know, what we want to teach the most in 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, marketing Lab and Library, this is, the, this is my, my laboratory right now. So, for example, one of the things that we've had be effective for some of our more successful members what if you bought a cargo trailer and offered that as your very first touch in a probate campaign? What if you said, hey, we know that you're probably going to have to clean out a house or move property. Call us. Let us know when, when we need to drop off the, the dump trailer and the cargo trailer. No real estate, no titles, nothing about being a broker, nothing about buying a house. 
I can get the phone to ring with a trailer faster than I can get the phone to ring offering real estate services. So I've partnered with national trailer manufacturers, national wrap companies, and we'll hand it to you just like a franchise would to a franchisee. You send the letter, your phone rings. And by the way, there, it's an 80% write-off. Um, you get you get a tax benefit for your business taking bonus depreciation. And all that's written in, like literally step-by-step. Step. So it's a different kind of marketing. But in the marketing lab is where we, we release things for people to try. Once we've had enough success on that, like the software offer, then it gets moved into the library. If we can attribute a million dollars worth of, of member income to that, then it needs to move from the lab into the library because it's already proven. Um, we've got four, four of those distinct campaigns outside of the campaigns I've already talked about that are in the courses. Vendor Hub, this is where you get people like the CPA I was telling you about, lead discounts, software, um, just all the people that I've been able to collect like Leon that have, have worked ourselves to the top of, of this industry. Um, and just because of our relationships, I can offer, they, they're willing to offer discounts to my members that you probably wouldn't get on your own. Member Rewards Vault, this is where I have fun. I teach the game about how I was able to, to you know, go from minus, well, to go to a net worth I never thought I was capable of in my early 30s and did it by playing games. Uh, some of it was using Index Universal Life to do something. Some of it was like I, I turned, I 10 x a, a, a small 401k using small balance private mortgages to real estate investors. I turned 12,000 into 120,000 and didn't even know what I was doing. So this is where I take the courses that are non-probate, but things that helped catapult me into, you know, financial independence in my thirties. And I just throw those courses in here because I don't feel like building a whole separate company. I just give those to the members of this community. Um, after your first year as a member, you can step up to be a member mentor as long as you're doing a half a million in production or 20 closed deals. What that means is you get free access to the entire community. And after your first year, you go into profit sharing. So this is a carefully named company. The, the company that owns all this is Magnum Opus Project. And my goal is to see how much I can contribute. So we, you know, just like just with our team and our mentors, the the bigger, the, the, the more successful the community becomes, um, the more vested you become in it. And that becomes, you know, you you get the information and the peer support and the, all that. But we're also profit sharing above above this preset EBITDA goal. We distribute that to the students and the mentors and, and the staff. So that's kind of what that is. That's the three things I do. So we've got a course targeted, a course that will teach you to differentiate yourself and market directly to the personal representatives and the family. We have a course that will teach you how to actually be valuable to attorneys who think you're not worth a damn and you're selfish because they have never met somebody who, who uses the approach that we teach. Um, and then we have a community that rolls both of those courses into a community of people who are already doing this successfully that, uh, and we've built a beautiful culture where we you know we don't have poison pens. We don't have to get on to people or moderate Facebook because our students coach our students more than we do. So that is all I really have. Those are the three things that, that I have to offer you. And uh, other than Q&A, which I'd say is probably more valuable. Chad, um, um, we have a group that would like for you to share your URL again for the estate professionals. Okay, um, I'll share the, the, the USPL link. So this is where anything and everything that we just talked about can be found here. All Thanks. right, you guys want to do hand raises or written questions first? Leon? Uh, folks, uh, we're open to however you want to ask questions. Um, Lauren, we, we've got a bunch in the chat. You want me to, to uh, go? Yeah, why don't through? you just go ahead and go through those? That sounds great. All right. Um, Doris said, if we took CPRES course with you, do we still need further training? Um, so the CPRS course, that's actually through MTI Education. Um, I, it's They're com completely different courses. Uh, you can go, like I said, I've never deleted a review. If you go look at the Probate Mastery course page and look at the reviews, you'll see 500 plus people who weren't incentivized at all to leave that feedback. It's just part of a course exit survey. 
Um, so you may or may not. I don't know if you're not meeting your income goals and you're still falling short. If you're not getting the conversions you think, then yeah, you probably probably your best best investment would be in your education and in a community of people. Uh, with the probate mastery course, you get a private Facebook community, weekly coaching calls. You don't like there's you get that with that course. Um, Brian said, can you sub to a probate? So, uh, Brian, if you're here, you can unmute uh, and, and if you have any any follow up questions. So for those of you that if, if that question didn't land right, if you don't understand that, what he's talking about is purchasing subject to the existing more existing mortgage staying in place. And sub two is a great strategy for probate, especially ones in reverse mortgage, but you damn well better have a secondary finance plan in place. So I don't, don't recommend sub two and probate to people who are just getting started. If you don't have a deep understanding of title in your state, and if you don't have multiple finance strategies, it's probably not right for you because you have, if it's a reverse mortgage, you usually have a 90 to 180 day window to get refinanced or resold. And if it's just a general probate, you're going to have six to 18 months until probate closes and that title has to transfer. Um, so chances are, you know, you're, you're anywhere from a, a, let's just call it a three to 12 month window. So if your substitute strategy is a burr, if you can take take possession of the house immediately, subject to the existing lien staying in place, you get a tenant in place, you start cash flowing, and then you sell that off as a turnkey rental. Then you just had a you know a sixty day flip with a tenant in place. Then yes, yeah, sub two made a lot of sense because you got a free house, a free tenant, and you the and the profit on the back end. So if you're going to sub to and probate, you just better understand title and because you you create exposure for yourself if you don't understand title and timelines because the bank has the right to foreclose and they might, you may lose the house. Now you don't have, a, usually you're not going to have a lot of risk in it. Um, Hello. Hey, Brian. Uh, hey, Chad. Uh, do you guys teach like that as well? You know, a little bit of the creative side. Um, yeah, let me let me show you. Okay, Leon, I'm gonna grab the screen here. I want to show you guys something. This is so. I after teaching for years, I'm like, how the heck can I show them what's in my head? And this is a mind map of how my brain works when I'm having a conversation with a seller. Now, on the left, these are all the lists that I've used in the past. You'll see seniors, pre-probate, probate, trust, pre-foreclosure, divorce, vacant, absentee, all of these. I treat the same way. So is there still real estate? Yes or no. Even if there's not real estate, I can turn them into a private money prospect or referral, uh, refer to a partner like a registered investment advisor, estate planning, or I'll turn them into a buyer. So I'm either borrowing money from them or I'm lending, I'm, I'm selling them something. But as it goes through here, you'll see like, so in the ones there is real estate, the real estate is, has a loan on it. Um, as we go through the questions, it, this is a vacant house. Is there motivation to sell? Let's say, yes, there's a motivation. Is there debt? Let's say, yes, there's debt. Is that debt current? Let's say no, because we're looking for a worst case scenario. Is there equity? Let's say no. So we've got a house with no with with debt. The payments aren't current. There's no equity in it. And now we look at their timeline. So they have less than 30 days. We, we're turning it to a rental. That's the only thing we can do. One to six months, it's a short sale. But if they if we can get them to realize they have to think long term, then we can go to creative financing. So in that specific scenario, we can do a second, a sub two, a wrap or a lease with option to purchase. And this is basically what this is the full version of any list. This look how big this conversation can get based on a few answers, a few a few uh, carefully asked questions. You can very quickly determine what strategies will and will not work. But. So yes, I teach mainly in the probate space, like in probate mastery in session two, we go through wholesale, cash acquisition, fix and flip, buy and hold, burr, um, partnering like novation or partnering with the family to flip the asset, even land development and land flip, like permitted land flipping. 
And then on the creative financing side, I most commonly use, we'll transfer to the heirs. Like this is after probate, like we'll, we'll get a commitment letter, transfer it out to the heirs and the state of Texas. You can do this through a monument of title and it's a shortcut. There's an express lane in Texas, like with most things, but you get the asset off of the, out of the estate's name on title. Then you can do a, a, a wrap. Uh, you, you can do a first and have the seller carry a second as a wrap. You can do a full-blown owner financing. You can do a lease with option to purchase. There's all kinds of things. So we we go through in session two of probate mastery. I teach you all the ways that I've been able to monetize these. And where I see a lot of people leave probably millions of dollars on the table is the average inheritance in the United States is $177,800. Now, what? how many of you guys turn your sellers into lenders at the closing table? How many of you guys sit at the closing table and try to start your next sale by taking a capitalized buyer, sitting there holding a check, knowing there's a 90% chance they'll spend it before they ever invest it? And that's the kind of stuff we teach. You teach, you take every seller, you take every probate case, you turn it into an estate planning referral on a private money lead or a buyer lead, and you just create a cycle of transactions. So I'll walk you through how I do all of that. Um, that's that's all in the course and the role plays. We have, I don't know at this point, probably 800 hours of coaching calls where we talk about these things. Um, next up we have, let's see. Uh, so Adrian asked about the courses. Retail on the courses is 600. If you're a member of a state professionals mastermind, they get cut in half. Um, I also have a question, Chad, since I have my hand up. Um, okay. One thing that I find sometimes difficult when when doing either real estate, probate, you know, straight real estate, is what are the systems? Do you guys teach the systems that are put into place to be able to manage these leads correctly? So, yeah, in, in session two of mastery, I start with systems as, as part of that session where basically if you have zero money, I, I was shocked and in, in becoming a coach and a teacher, I thought everybody had a CRM because it was one of the first things I did in 05 when I didn't even know what I was doing. Very few agents have agents or investors actually have a CRM and that mm -hmm. was shocking to me. So we, we go as basic as actually showing you how to set up a CRM using a Google sheet and using like data validation tables. I can build a, in, in less than five minutes, I can build a full functioning CRM and Google sheets for free. So we start there. Um, and so I do have, I do have a CRM. I'm just interested in how do you, you know, cause as you accumulate information over time and yeah. you still have to follow up. So, so what we, I, what we teach is a back door. As far as a, a minimum sequence with probate, what I always did, I maintained a 6% closing rate on a cold list for years. I don't try to set that expectation for, for others. If you're just getting started, I, I say, hey, let's just assume you suck and you're going to convert 1%, 1 in 100. You're still going to make probably a 500% a ROI. Mm -hmm. Like at, at a 6% conversion, I was staying around 2000 to 2200% return on investment, true cash on cash return. Mm -hmm. uh, I was doing that with simply sending three letters and following each with a phone call. Okay. Um, that was just basic. Like that's the most basic campaign. Now, the other things that I've talked about, like sending the, the like in the earn course alone, there are two, two, specific campaigns that are made to generate a conversation with the personal representative so that you can identify the need to sell real estate and you can turn them into a referral. And one of those is sending a, a customized, no going out and putting a customized, no trespassing sign on the house, because they're usually not aware that if a squatter gains access, they just, mm -hmm. they just became subject to landlord tenant law. Most people don't know that mm -hmm. most people don't know. And I would say 99% of executors are not told by the attorneys because the attorneys don't know when a house with a standard homeowner's policy is vacant for more than 30 days, that policy will not cover the asset. And I've seen this happen. I've seen houses burn mm -hmm. to the ground and families lose everything. 
And like, so we include letters like that. We offer to get vacant insurance in place. We offer to put no trespassing signs on the property. We offer free software. So your your the frequency can be cut down with the quality of your marketing campaigns. When okay. I was when I was teaching, you know, mail 12 letters and, and hammer the phones like hell. I wasn't as good of a marketer. I hadn't been able to build the relationships that allowed me to offer things like cargo trailers, dump trailers, multi-million dollar software and all these things. So depending on what personal choices you make, if you want to try to do this with just simple letters and not have those that high level of service in your business, then I would plan on mailing a letter uh, uh, no, no less than three and then hammering the phones, follow up, follow up, follow up. Um, back to something Leon was talking about earlier. I teach my students to, to market for 24 months. I've seen more come list me or come get this damn house deals off of probates more than a year old than I ever have on a fresh list. Because on a fresh list, you've got everyone who's got a damn smartphone and access to YouTube is out there harassing these people in the first week that the probate is filed. And it's just now it's they 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 close down, right? Like their their psychology just sends them inward and their ego says, no, they're all trying to take advantage of you. Run. So by actually being patient and sending something different late in the game, uh -huh. leave the conversion rates. I had one gentleman who I met him at Triple Play, a real estate convention in, in uh, uh, Jersey. He paid he paid uh, he had over nineteen thousand dollars in leads and training. And he had done nothing for 18 months. We sent one letter and we put a hundred and I think it was $132,000 in the next 30 days off of one letter to leads that were as old as 19 months old. So the, the you, you've got to look at there. And we talk about all this in the course you choose, okay. you choose how old your data is. You choose what type of marketing you're going to do. You choose what your offer is. Some people aren't going to take what I'd say is my best advice and actually have a big vision of being of providing the highest level of service ever possible and far exceeding their expectations. Some people want the minimum, like tell me the least I can do to make some money. And that's a grind. You'll hammer the damn phone. You'll 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 stuff and stuff envelopes and lick stamps. And it's hard. And it's not it's, it's I find it's easier to do this at a high level than it is to try to piddle. Of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank yeah, you. We, I walk you through all of the all of the available options. That's why mastery ends up being sixteen hours because I'm not teaching it just for realtors, just for investors, or just for one type of campaign. I show you everything I've tried, including what I failed at, and then like in in the Earn course and in the EPM community, that's where we're testing. We're we're making it visible to you guys when we test new things. So when we throw a letter out there that offers software that no one else, is, none of your competitors are going to be able to offer free software mm -hmm. um, that, well, unless they build a more trusting relationship with a Harvard grad than I have. So it's something that, that we can provide exclusively for those people. And it, I mean, it costs you 85 bucks to buy the software. Mm -hmm. Is a deal worth 85 bucks, but I'll pay $85 not to have to sit and do cold calls for five hours. Right. If I can get one phone call and get that person in the software, then I have the list of assets, the list of errors, the list of liabilities, contact information for every single person associated. And I send one email to an attorney and he's like, how the hell did this guy get all this information? Because his staff spends a week trying to get that gathered up. Mm -hmm. I did it because I'm a real estate professional. I'm not a legal professional. I'm just focused on giving them a tool that will make them more organized and give me a reason to get on the phone with them and then come over and meet to say, oh, hey, you know, when we talked, I, I thought I'd just bring this no trespassing sign over. And then you're the only you're the only one in town. Yeah, that tool is included in your course, correct? That particular one that I just mentioned is in the earn course. Yeah. Yeah. So so the course that we're promoting here, guys, is is his monthly subscription course where you will get a lot of what he has to offer. And we have our link in the chat box. He also has other courses, hopefully, Chad, you don't mind me stepping in here a little bit to you know, put it out there. So, yeah, Chad, you you have done a fabulous job. I mean, I hats off to you, my friend. Thanks, man. I'm um, just scanning through the questions here. 
thanks for backing me up on the book there guys um something i don't know if i can grab the link without a bunch of awkwardness here i have a, a probate in the probate mastery course we have a, a recommended reading list i'm a i'm a bit of a bookworm uh, there's i think 15 books if you go and i'll, I'll give you guys that handout um mckenna if you're on here could you drop the probate mastery reading list link to everybody but uh, there's, I've got lots of other really good books that I think are just foundational if, if you really want to get that six, seven figure result in this. Um, Anna, my name is Chad Corbett. It looks like he might have jumped already. Um, someone said, is this training for agents, not brokers? No, I mean, it, there's no no real difference, is there? I mean, at, at the true agency relationship level, what's the difference? Um, you're, you know, whether you're a sub agent or an agent like broker or salesperson tactics are the same. Um, let's see, link to the webinar. Hey, Daniel Brenner's here. Yeah, Daniel's, Daniel said uh, trainings for both, very balanced. Daniel, if you want to unmute, tell him what you think. Um, Nanette said, how much is membership to get the course discount? So we, my goal was to try to keep, to put as much value as, as we've ever seen in one place for, for professionals in this niche. Uh, it's $2,400 a year, which is obviously 200 a month. Or if you need installments, we'll do it for uh, $250 a month over 12 months. I look at it as an annual commitment. My goal is if you don't feel like you got, if you can't measure a hundred thousand dollars and change on your P and L, um, or if you're, even if you want to look at it on 1099, if you can't measure that, I don't want you coming back next year. Cause I failed you. I, I know that the, the people who are like the, 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 what we're doing in this group should be worth six figures to anyone. Um, so but the courses are still available if you just want to do uh, the DIY. Uh, Chad, I can just validate your group. It is more than just education. Uh, I'm newer to real estate. I got my license last year and I'm in a place where I'm not really from. So I don't have a large sphere of influence to pull from. Uh, but, you know, someone said, I think it was actually you, Chad, your, uh, you don't choose your niche, your niche chooses you. And my first yeah. two listings fell into probate. Uh, and it, my broker has 40 some years of experience. She's only had one probate deal. Uh, but I don't know, this is definitely, uh, I feel like it makes, uh, I used to be a holistic health coach. So I love that high degree of empathy. And like you said, someone said, I heard that real estate's really more about people. And I think this niche is really more about people than it is the property. And, uh, it just makes real estate more fulfilling, but someone that's still new to real estate, everyone in the support group and Chad, like everyone's been extremely supportive. I've even had people just call me and just give me like just free advice. And as someone that's new to an industry, uh, I just, I can't even, I, I know no paid affiliation, but uh, I just, it, and I, I checked out, I checked out four other companies and um, I really did my comparison before I made the choice, but I, I have to say, I think I made the best choice. So I just wanted to put that out there. That's awesome, man. Good to see you here. You were on the tax workshop in February because we, yeah. we yeah. I, I tore into you, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. That was that was so informative. I'm just, you know, right before the pandemic, I really started practicing financial literacy. And it's been a few years of just like diving deep. And every time I think I've like reached a new milestone, I just get more information and I become more accountable and more empowered. So I just I really want to also join that new that new program that you have. Uh, when I get there financially, I will be joining that because I just I've learned so much from just everyone. Yeah, just just what you I've seen you do in the free communities, like you're going to be a great fit for that. So I can't wait. Thank you, Chad. All right, um, Anna asked which CRM to use. Honestly, it's it's one that is simple enough that you'll use it consistently not so complicated that it will intimidate you and overcomplicate your business. Um, it just needs to, like a lot of it, it comes down to your your level of commitment and discipline more than the actual technology. Um, everybody's talking about the mind map. Um, 
the info on the no so the no trespassing the vacant insurance is in probate mastery the custom no trespassing sign i believe we put in mastery that developed that was an idea that came I, i've i included that one in the probate uh in the earn course the attorney course um but i think uh, the estate exec is the only one. No, I think we've added a state exec to, yes, both of them are in both courses. Sorry, they were developed at different times and we've gone back and say, oh, that was a great marketing campaign. So we've actually cross-pollinated some of the courses. Um, Brian said, is there a membership or can we do one time? If you buy a course, you can buy a course once. If you're a member, um, you can get everything we ever do. And Daniel, oh, there you, you saw that. All right. I think I cleared the queue. I think so you guys don't have to watch me awkwardly read, read Zoom notes. Any hands up? Anyone, anything, any, how can I help you guys? What can I do for you? So, Chad, to clarify, um, in the earned course, probate mastery, though, is not a part of that ongoing course, or is it? No, probate mastery is a separate course. That's, that's, for, that's for prospecting directly to families. Um, earn is a separate course. That's for really finding a way to, you know, get inbound referrals from attorneys. Both of those are available at half price if you're a member of the State Professionals Mastermind, which includes a whole lot more. So in short, you can buy one of these courses for 600, two for 1200, um, or you could simply sign up for a, for a membership at 250 and then go buy the course for 300. So you can spend less on the membership and the course than you will on just the course. And that's, you know, then you have another 11 months, but if I've done my job, you'll get a return on that. You know, you, you'll be in the net positive within 60 days for sure. And we hey, Chad. Go ahead. I'm sorry. There is, there is I said, that. oh, thank you. Um, I just have one more question. Um, yeah. I'm glad you said about the 60 days because this is a tough market where people are like wishy-washy. And I love, love, love selling estates because they have to sell. That's right. um, but my question is, I am in another, I'm going to say expensive, learn how to scale your business. It is not niche specific. Um I still think this could be helpful to me because it is niche specific. And while I'm learning how to scale my business and grow a team, I can also learn this. Correct. Mm -hmm. This is, I mean, I've, I've taken people who were running three or four or five, including myself when I, as a realtor, when I really saw the power of this, I had over $8,000 a month in overhead and most of it was garbage. I was chasing shiny objects like internet leads, trying this campaign. Oh, good. Campaign, Me this too. Software, that stuff. <laughs> We've all been there, right? Me too. I quit it all. Mary Lou Tyler, I was speaking in Dallas one time and Mary Lou Tyler was a keynote speaker. She wrote the book, Predictable Revenue. And she had prior to that, the event before that, she was like, I hear you like you, you have the most like clockwork P&L ever. How? And I'm like, I just serve families in probate. She's like, how, how do you run a high six figure business doing one thing? Everyone else in the room was doing like 50 things. And it was a, you know, a high level group of, of, of high performers, but they had a pretty low margin. And I was, we, I tracked my numbers for six. It was six months, not three between the time we saw each other next. And that's where I got down to, like, I knew I had a two, I think at that time it was a 2,201% cash on cash return for that six month period with one lead type, sending three letters, following up with ringless voicemail at the time, because I was too damn lazy to prospect. And honestly, I was just working three days a week and riding my motorcycle and camping most of the rest of the time. But um, I was able to go from struggling and, you know, not knowing what to do in residential real estate because I come from, you know, high end beachfront ski front to falling on my face for about six months to just mm -hmm. like blowing into the top 1% of agents in the market in the first year. And it, that first six months, well, I piss away a lot of money trying to like learning what not to do. But when I focused, this just exploded for me. And that's my favorite thing. Like I, there's a, a guy named Seth, 26 years old. 
he called and he was like, you know, I said, what market are you in? He said, I'm in Midtown Manhattan. I want to be a listing agent. I'm like, well, why don't you just swing for the fence, bro? Um, <laughs> we all know that's one of the most fiercely competitive listing agent markets on earth. Um, probably second to Dubai. And he said, I want to crack into this market, but I want to do it quietly. So I, I worked with him. He took the probate mastery course. I gave him a couple coaching calls. And that, I talked to Seth and he, he started in July, about right after the 4th of July. When we did an interview, the end of December, he had done three quarters of a million dollars in his first six months in real estate in Midtown Manhattan, only on the listing side, only with probate sellers. Like it's I, I, I don't ever start with stories like that because I don't want to be like that guru that bullshits everyone. But I have Thank so you. many, so many of these stories of where people have, have just surprised the hell out of themselves. When that Gunther is in uh, Colorado is the toughest market I've ever coached in because of the way they record the data and it comes late. So what um, investors do in Colorado is they, they skip trace, they, they scrape obituaries, then they skip trace the air data, and then they just barrage anyone and everyone. So the families are closed down and like the best time to market in Colorado is six months after the probate filing. That's where we find almost all of our success. But with Lynette, we found a niche for her. She likes working with affluent people. So we get, we was, we just focused on that. We focused on affluent people and probate and trust administration and more specifically avoiding foreclosure from uh, reverse mortgages. And last fall we were on a call. I'm like, Lynette, how much money have you even made? I don't know. It's just, you know, I just want to do more. I know I can do so much more. I'm like, no, no, stop. Let's figure this out. She made $750,000 and didn't even know how much she had made because she was just focused on the clients. And I, that's the thing for me. Like if you focus on the real estate, the systems, the businesses, the letters and this, then it will, it will be, you know, it, it's a hard fight. It was for me. When you start focusing on the people, the solutions, the hugs, the testimonials, the videos, the, the, the conversations following the sale, walking them into your attorney's office saying, hey, this person was just an executor. Let's make sure that never happens in their family again. When that becomes your focus, then all this all this struggle and, and like busting your ass and hustling, all that goes away. It's really not that necessary. You can, Dave Pinnell is a great example. He's, he's near Leon. He's in Dallas, Fort Worth. He's working three days a week, had two kids. And when, when he first took this, before he took the course, he had $10,000 a month in monthly overhead. He was, his margin was nothing. He it looked like from the outside, he was like me. It looked like he was a stud. He was doing tons and tons of transactions, but he was working eight days a week and there was no money left. There was no margin in it. So it's people like that, that, that we put in the forefront of our community that have actually proved their proof of this. Like, you can follow in their footsteps, like see how that what their offer is, how they treat people. And that's what I find to be the, the critical part of, of making this fun and easy is really forgetting about yourself and your businesses and your struggles and your stories and your excuses. Just look and say, how can I help that family? And you'll surprise yourself how many ways you find to do it, too. We've we've just scratched the tip, of, just scratched the surface on today. There's literally hundreds of these things that we offer. Um, like we're uh, next, I don't think it's next month or the following. Like we're we're doing a, a workshop with an equine counselor who's done grief counseling with horses for 45 years. Now, in order to help her grow her business, if we give an hour to every surviving spouse who goes through the loss of a husband or, the, or a widower who, who loses his wife, if we give them an hour of time with a horse and a therapist for free, like that's, that's the kind of marketing we do. And that's why this is, that's why our people get an, an atypical result. All right. Anything else, guys? Chad, you have um, a question about uh, recorded courses. If you can go yeah. back and review them. Yeah, I used to teach these live, but there's only one of me and I, I just, I just, it, it, I ran out of me. So they're both digital courses. Everything served out of Kajabi, which is a, a, plat, a learning platform where everything will be in, on your phone and your pocket. Everything will be on your desktop and you can go back as many, as, as long as you would like. You have lifetime access. Um, Anna, Magnum Opus Project is nothing but the name of a company. 
Earn is the name of a course. That course is for prospecting directly to attorneys to earn referrals. Um, if you're at a level where you're, you know, you don't want to hammer the phones, you want to do direct mail to the to the family, and then turn those that fa those family members into referrals. But just to be clear, Magnum Opus Project, I'll tell you guys a story. So, I have had to recreate brands and companies for several times. I've had had many. Um, this time in 2021, I sold my shares in a company and took my courses and brought them over into a new company. So the reason it's named Magnum Opus is I thought everybody knew what that was, but it's I see that it's so Beethoven's Fifth Symphony was his Magnum Opus. Einstein's E equals MC squared was his Magnum Opus. For me, I set a goal at 40. My goal was retire by 40. I tried at 38. It sucked. So I set a new goal to give away $20 million by the time I was 50. I'm 41 now. The Magnum Opus Project is the vehicle. So it is a social enterprise that just like in the last, we figured it up the other day, in the last 16 months, we've given away almost a half a million dollars in, in educational scholarships. Um, so the Magnum Opus Project is just a purposeful brand for everything that I do. Um, and Earn is the course that lives within that company. But uh, you can find the uh, probatemastery.com as the main brand for the, what we've been talking about today. Magnum Opus Project is just a brand big enough to hold all my crazy visionary ideas. Chad, really appreciate it. That was, uh, as, as usual, just a, an outstanding uh, presentation. And I'm sure these folks are just sitting there salivating, trying to figure out how to how to do, take the next step with you. This is this is really exciting, and the, you can everybody that's uh, listening. I think you can easily understand how the partnership came to be between Probate Leads and, and Probate Mastery and Chad's team. Uh, Chad has a remarkable amount of information available to share, and in the probate space, there's just simply no one no one better to work with. Uh, we're we're excited for the the partnership and look forward to a long relationship. You'll see the link up at the top, www.usprobateleads.com offer. And we have a, a free prospecting sales video library that uh, Chad's put together that's out there. All of Chad's programs are all, can also be found on there. Uh, we are offering some special deals on the subscriptions as well as a one-time purchase. You can see the uh, links there. We will be sending out a, a, a copy of this uh, webinar uh, that should be getting out to you probably within, uh, I think, six hours. So it'd be probably before um, six hours after the, after completion is what, when we'll have it to you. And we also have a copy of the uh, presentation to you. We'd encourage you to uh, stop and think about what you've heard here. I mean, the the, uh, the content was just extraordinary. And I think it's, it's going to take each of you a while to figure out what can I do with this? How do I want to use it? What, where do I want to go with it? Uh, you, I, I'm confident that what you're going to come away with is I want to be part of this thing. I don't think there's any question about it. And as and we'll show you how to get involved with it and show you how to be uh, how to work with Chad and his team. And you are going to be successful if you if you join us and, and start taking advantage of it. It's a lot of things that that you can do with this solution. And uh, and, and it's it's fun. I mean, this is this is something special. I don't think I've I've been involved in this industry for a number of years and the, I haven't run across anyone that provides the the breadth of uh, materials and solutions that that Chad does. So uh, if you find them, let's have a challenge panel. Let's have a head to head. <laughs> uh discounts are shown here the the tax are we're going to be sending more stuff out to you uh we will have some folks available to answer any questions at all and we we can uh we work hand in glove with uh chad's team and we can get any information that you need for for from his team and and it's all going to be uh under the under our uh, the joint umbrella here we're working on our website right now and the uh solution that you'll see will reference both solutions so um Thanks, Leon, so I forgot to specifically. So you guys see in the bottom right of the screen right now, prospecting and sales. We do, we have a, so I've, I've been talking on zoom for almost a decade about this and I've led, uh, I don't know, probably over 200 hours of role play calls and over a thousand hours of group coaching calls. Um, what we've done is actually for free, you guys can go to that link 
And if you download the, you can do the on-demand coaching, the ODC, the one is for prospecting and sales. The other is for, uh, if I can remember that the other one we have is vendor building vendor teams. So I teach everyone to go build a, a minimum team of 16 very specific vendors that help you provide 16 solutions and delegate all the work. So what you see over my shoulder, the work less, earn more, do good as a common thread that runs through everything. So it's um, that that vendor team on demand coaching. I don't remember how many hours it is, but it's precise. It's me coaching in a group setting similar to this um, where you'll get to hear exactly how I tell them to build vendor teams on prospecting and sales. This is where we talk about things like call reluctance, marble mouth, getting out of your own way. The reason scripts are crap. Um, what a probate unique selling proposition is and why like all those things. So you, that's a, uh, there's several hours of content that you guys can have. If you just want to check out how we treat people and what we teach. Um, and we're very transparent. I dropped, I'd also dropped a link to the Facebook group. So you guys can join our community. If you're not part of it, um, watch how our people treat each other. I think that's the thing that's, that I, I hold the most pride in is, who can put 7,000 people on the internet that actually treat each other with respect these days. So that's something pretty cool. We've carefully built that. So I dropped the link to that too. So just a few, you know, few free things. Uh, I know Anna, congrats on your new house. You just said you bought a house and we're going to look for the course, but for right now you can get started with the on-demand coaching. You can get started by joining our community and, and, and the Facebook group, uh, get to know 7,000 other people around the country doing this. Folks, I think that was pretty much what we wanted to accomplish today. We do appreciate your uh, visiting with us. We will be offering additional uh, presentations going forward. Chad will be back with us to, to offer in different uh, targeted areas. Uh, we'll be explaining the next thing that we are going to be doing, uh, explaining how to uh, get access to the sale, to the uh, leads and, and the solutions that we have. And we'll be giving a presentation, a webinar presentation next week that shows the uh, tools that we use to be able to do that. And we welcome all of you. We'll send out an uh, invite for any of that. Uh, Chad, did you have anything else you wanted to add to this? No, nope. thanks for letting me stand here and talk at you guys. It's what I do best. Uh, if there's anything I can do to help you, you can email support at probatemastery.com or support at Magnum Opus. Find us in the Facebook groups. Uh, join us on our, our weekly calls. Uh, let me know how I can help you. That's what I'm here for. Thank you, folks. We'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks much. Bye, guys.